Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I don't know how many of you guys follow, but Mel Thompson did recently pass away and I don't know, the news, it took me several days even to really just accept it had happened. I kind of thought it was just like maybe somebody had hacked her account and made that post was my initial thought. I didn't really want it to be true. I just never could have ever expected something like that to happen. I've been meaning to make a 3 looks 1 palette video with Tiny Marvels for months now and it always slipped through the cracks, but it's better late than never and I thought I would finally go ahead and get this done as soon as I could as kind of like my own personal tribute to her and how much of an inspiration she was to me. She was one of the inspirations for me to finally start my own channel. Her eyeshadow looks are just so among some of the most beautiful and artistic looks I've ever seen on the internet. I felt that her technique was almost unparalleled, and she always did such a great job of showing what she was doing. I still to this day cannot replicate some of the effects that she is able to create on her eyelids or on her face, and I just felt like it was just so unfair, it made me really just upset for a little while, like I just didn't want it to be true, but you know, it's something that I am gonna have to just accept. It's gonna feel really weird not having her videos around to watch with me while I eat breakfast. I, I still find myself wondering what her thoughts are on some of the new makeup that's come out recently. But yeah, that's just kind of how I feel about the whole situation. I really don't ever know what to say during times like these, but that's just kind of how I've been feeling. It's It's been hard, and so I just hope that this video can be my way of expressing how much I admired her artistry and how much of an inspiration and a role model she was to me with regards to her makeup and her YouTube channel. I love this palette. I feel like her makeup preferences of like neutrals with some color with like can wear it during the day but with a twist is always so up my alley so when I saw the reveal for this palette I was so excited and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it. I did miss the initial sales portion just because I didn't, I wasn't on the train fast enough, but the first restock, I bought it and I absolutely love it, but I just never got around to filming with it aside from a quick get ready with me using it once. I definitely wish I could have actually done my list and I hadn't procrastinated, but I guess better late than never. I just love this palette so much. If you guys have watched my recent motherships video, you'll know that uh, when I was mentioning why I love the mothership so much, that it's because it is comfortable and easy, but at the same time can create really fun and unique looks. And I felt like Tiny Marvels sums that up really well. Plus, I had never tried Sydney Grace before this, so her collaboration with Sydney Grace was what revealed to me the amazing quality of Sydney Grace's eyeshadows. The mattes are really, really easy to blend. I wouldn't say they're super, super pigmented on the first pass, but they can build up to full opacity with very minimal effort. The shimmers feel like cream and they're so smooth and intense, I just can't get enough of them. And yeah, overall, I just do really love this palette. I felt like it really was on brand for her. I felt like I could see her in this palette looking at the colors, the art, and everything about it. I definitely am really gonna miss her videos. Uh, I know how I feel is nothing compared to those who knew her personally, but I know it's been hard on a lot of people, including me, and I just wanted to upload this video just to kind of share with you guys what she meant to me. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed these looks so far. This duochrome is the perfect pink to gold duochrome. It's the best one in my collection right now. If you guys watched the Mothership video, you'll know that the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 1 duochrome was such a letdown when I actually put it on my eyelids, but this, the shifts do show through a lot more. So I really love the metallics in here. Plus the shade Web, which you'll see I use to some capacity in all three looks, is such a perfect inner corner shade and I know she said it was also her perfect brow bone shade because she would always highlight her brow bone. Now I don't highlight my brow bone, I feel like it looks very unflattering on me, 
but as you can see it highlights my inner corners so beautifully and it is just so smooth so yeah if you see any bumps on my eyelid i just have like a mild pimple there for some reason uh yeah it's just for some reason i have like a really tiny pimple on my eyelid This third and final look, I really wanted to lean into the colors of this palette. So the purple actually develops darker on the eyelid, uh, eyelid than it looks in the pan. I'm not mad about it, uh, I personally think it looks quite nice, and the purple can come through on my skin without looking like I bruised myself, so I definitely appreciate that. And then I'm gonna mix it with the green, and this is just creating a really floral, watercolor-ish look. I know I remember how much Mel loves flowers and for example the vintage rose from Give Me Glow which I also bought because of her and it's so beautiful I need to film with that sometime too. So I just this look definitely kind of reminded me of how much she would say she loves flowers. And then this color here, so this color does exist in Sydney Grace's permanent range, but it was put into this palette and then renamed to fit with the theme. And I think Scarab really is the perfect name for this because this is so reminiscent of a beetle's shell and you can see how much of a, how beautiful of a duochrome this is. Again, just like the pink to gold duochrome in this palette, I can see the shifts. It is so, so smooth, so creamy. It's just so perfect. And then I take more of that purple to blend it on top just so that it can show through again. So you can kind of see I'm using a lot of different colors in this look. I really just wanted to try something a little bit more colorful for the last look that I'm using this palette for. And then I'm just going to pop that green on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then I just wanted to try using a different color just for the sake of it on my inner corner of my lower lash line. You can see here it's really pretty. It fits, you know, the whole thing is already pretty crazy, but then I still couldn't resist putting a little bit of web just on the innermost part of my inner corners for that little subtle highlight. And here we have the finished look. It is really pretty. I chopped up some lashes and put them on kind of spaced apart to kind of give off a fairy lash look. I picked that up from Pony's video. Uh, it's definitely not the greatest, but I'll keep practicing. I hope you enjoyed this video.